What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be getting clownfish for our little mini saltwater patio pond. I used to have a lobster in here, but unfortunately he didn't do good and he just passed away. I don't know if it was because of water. At the time, I didn't have Tommy coming and testing the water, so I'm not exactly sure what the cause of his death was, but he didn't make it. So I decided like three weeks ago, I set it back up. I let it run for about three weeks and today's the day we're gonna be getting clownfish right and I came up with like clownfish just because we're gonna make this like a clownfish only aquarium nothing else in here maybe some invertebrates maybe another little fish but like specifically we're going after clownfish today so we're gonna head to the aquarium shop see Andy say stop by say hi to him see what fish he has in we actually got Tommy here and his team they're cleaning all the tanks doing water changes checking the water and they even are checking the pool pond and doing water changes on that thing that thing's like 3,000 gallons so it's huge so yeah I'm gonna switch you guys over to that right now doing some water changes on the tanks right now look at this what do we got going on right now just fill them back up and what do we do on here a 50% water change or yeah 20? about 50% all right look at the fish they're doing awesome where's our shark Back there in the corner. Back there. Tommy! Look at that shark right there. This guy swims all around the tank at night, just free swimming. But yeah, doing water changes on all the tanks right now. We even got, we even got some stuff going on right here. All these tanks are getting water changes. Now, technicians and their team come twice a month. So twice a month, they'll come do water changes, clean the tanks, test the water, make sure everything's going good. And yeah, it helps a lot just because I got so much going on with filming, coming up with the ideals, all the fish tanks, the little baby. I gotta have some help here. So yeah, they are a huge help with uh, just making sure all the tanks are right, all the fish are healthy, and everything goes good. Pond is also getting a little water change right now. The fish and the pond are doing amazing. Look at that bird right there. So pretty. So me and Tommy just came up with the ideal of setting up a live bait tank specifically for the pool pond where we can pretty much go over to the bait tank and have live bait for our needs at all times. And it's pretty much just gonna be live shrimp. But literally, when I tell you, if we're like, oh, I wish we could do a live feeding right now, yeah, we can, because we're gonna have it set up on the side of the house. I think that'll be pretty dope. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah, should be dope. A buddy of mine works at Zego Labs. Zego Labs, and what do they do? Uh, they develop fish or uh, shrimp feeds for aquaculture. They'll make sure that we have the right tank for what you're trying to do. Awesome, you heard him. From the professional himself, Look at our shark. He's out right now. He's actually getting a little bigger since he's been in this tank And it's been about like three weeks doing awesome But back to the saltwater pool pond all I have in here is a rock and I just put that rock in there Just to help it kind of get started faster as you can see there's already algae actually growing on the rock Which is a great sign So we're gonna head to the aquarium shop and get some clownfish All right, we're here Look at all these fish. I wasn't kidding when he said he you got a lot of fish in. Wow. Look at them, man. Fish just everywhere. Look at all the Nemo's in here. They're everywhere. Focus. Look at them. Snowflake bomb fish. Wow. These guys are pretty. There's literally just so many species to pick from. We got fish everywhere. We got some more clown fish. Oh my god. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at this octopus! Holy cow! Couldn't even see him for a second, and then he shot out of nowhere. Wow. Well, look at that. If any of you guys want an octopus, he's here. Got some little cleaner shrimp in here. You kind of look like a little cleaner shrimp. Actually, I think you look like him. Guys, I do not <laughs> look like him. Yeah, I can see it. Look, this is how the clownfish are gonna look in the pond because we're not gonna be seeing them from like a glass view. We're gonna be seeing them from above. They actually like, come right up to your finger. We're definitely gonna get some anemones for this little like saltwater pond. But you guys let me know in the comments which kind of anemone and um, yeah, just which kind of anemone we should get. We also are gonna get some invertebrates for this thing just to like kind of clean up what the fish don't eat. We got some little arrow crabs, but I think we can make a video catching them. Instead of like buying them, we can catch them. If you think we should, like this video. We got some more different kinds of anemones down here. These things are really cool. Now clownfish absolutely love these things. They make like a little home because they're like one of the fish that do not actually get stung by them. So we're actually gonna go with two clownfish Andy suggested because um, they would start fighting if we put more than two. So we're gonna go with two for now. Then we can add another fish or some invertebrates. That's for you guys to decide. But Court, come on. You gotta pick. You got a whole bunch. Now look at the colors. We got these kind, 
These are kind of your just common clownfish. You got some more little, a uh, little more, uh, I would say, exotic. I like this. Oh, look yeah. at this little guy. Oh, he's cool looking. Okay, what in the world is that? <laughs> okay, I found. <laughs> All right, we're not doing this. I we're, found we're not Yeah, this. I definitely see the resemblance now. Yeah, definitely the lips Wait, and everything. I think it has. What is this, Andy? A lizard fish. A lizard fish. Look at him. How big do they get? Uh, a foot and a half long, two feet. Two, almost big. two feet long. Wow. And he would just be looking at us like that, I guess. Two feet long. Oh, look at his eyeball. What in the world? I like those. They're cute. They're cute. Oh. Here they go. And he's gonna pick one out just for you. <laughs> just for her. Just for her, Courtney. So we got that little guy right there. Not like a... Look at him. He's so cute. So cute. Like a Seriously, black one? Not, by the way. Oh, oh. Wait, that's so cute. That's <laughs> sick. Look at that. I think you should go with that one. I don't know. I feel like in the, uh, we need bright, so maybe one of the white? White ones? Yeah, so I think we're gonna go with one of these guys instead. They're pretty bright looking in um really really pretty there you go it's almost got some blue into it really if you look at the yeah from up there from up well, they're going in a pond like a saltwater pond so yeah, it's, it's going to be from above they do have blue on them Turn to the side, buddy. Andy's bagging all our fish up for us right now then we are going to head home and get these guys into their new tank pond tank same thing all right it's a little loud, and he's getting a whole bunch of water. But we're gonna get these guys home. It's gonna be pretty fun. What do you think, Court? <laughs> yes. You happy? Yes. All right, let's go home. All right, we got a little bucket here. We got our clownfish in it, and we are gonna get the water from here dripping into here, and then they should be good to go. We're gonna give these guys about 45 minutes. When that time's up, then they're going into their new little mini saltwater pond. And also, if you guys think we should add anything onto this pond, for like example, maybe like a little mangrove coming out of here, change up the rocks, or even maybe one more little, little fish, maybe like a little goby or wrasse or something, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But in the meantime, we're gonna give these guys about 45 minutes, and then we'll pick the camera back up once they're ready. A few moments later. All right, it's time to add our clownfish to their new suit wa suit water, salt water pond. Yeah, their salt water pond. Um, it's literally just a mini version of the pool pond kind of like mini, mini, mini version. This is 25 gallons, that's 3,000 gallons, but it's kind of the same concept. I do want to add a little mangrove. I don't know, I mean, I think that would be pretty cool like coming out here. We can actually make this into like a little sump. We'll have bio balls, some other media, and then we can have like a mangrove coming out of that. So I think that would be pretty dope. Then also we can maybe probably move up some, move this rock a little, add some more rock to it, or take this one out and then add some smaller rocks. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But it's time to add these guys in. All right. Here we go. Got a net. Come on, little orange guy. Court picked this one out. Hey, little baby, can you be quiet over there, buddy? He's over here just chomping away. I'm trying to film here, buddy. Got him. Mine goes first. Here he goes. Ready? It's going to look so cool in here. Look at him. He's just hanging out. He's like, where am I, dude? Where's my buddy? He's coming, buddy. <laughs> Comment down below what clownfish you guys like better. Is it um, Courtney's or the one I picked out? Obviously I, mine. I think it's mine. Guys, this one's Nick's. This little guy's mine. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy better. <laughs> Here he goes. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, you just used for my fish. That's blue, white, that's a pretty fish right there if you All ask right. me. Look at him, going in. Oh, yeah, I think mine wins. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> oh, so look we didn't him. turn the light on for my fish. Look at how cool they are. They're just hanging out. I think we should do, this is my idea, I think some rocks and then like an anemone just like in the corner of the rocks or something, some caves and stuff. I think that would be pretty sick. Look at how cool this came out. We got our little clownfish down there doing awesome. But yeah, this is the little saltwater mini pond. 
and I think it's pretty dope once we get it all decorated and in future videos I'll add that on like of me decorating it and stuff and you'll be able to see it But we are doing a tour here pretty soon. So everything's gonna be like shown in that video It's gonna be a sick video. Just wait for it I'm literally making it the dopest video we have ever put out and we've put out some bangers So this one's gonna like top all of those clownfish little baby Courtney are doing good, which means everything's doing good. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. The Mata Mata. <laughs> the Mata Mata. Look at him. You can't even see him right now. Can you see him? He's right there. He looks like literally the log. We did add some leaves on the bottom of here, and it looks really, really natural. I love the way it came out. But yes, Mata Mata is doing awesome, and he's actually already eating live fish. Those guppies we put in there, gone. No more in the tank. That wraps it up for our little clownfish mini saltwater pond. Aquascape actually sent me this pond, and I was thinking of some ideas to do with it. I had the lobster in there. Unfortunately, like I said, he didn't make it. So I just had this thing laying around, so I figured, why not make something out of it? And Courtney actually came up with the idea of like a clownfish pond, so we did that. Court, 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 are you happy? Yes. Okay, she's happy, clownfish are happy. Nick's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> but with that being said, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below some names for our clownfish. We need a bunch of names because these guys are gonna be like, the cutest little And couples. whichever one you like better. Yeah, and whichever one you guys like better. So comment down below, let me know. Also, if you guys aren't already, subscribe. We post videos every other day on this channel from um, catching fish, buying fish, rescuing fish, a whole bunch of things. So make sure you guys are subscribed. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See ya! Oh. See ya!